In this video, I will present a short introduction to safety and liveness properties of distributed algorithms. Uh, correctness of distributed algorithms is specified through correctness properties. Basically, these properties are sets of executions which are allowed. There are two basic kinds of correctness properties – safety properties and liveness properties. And, in fact, it can be shown that any correctness property P can be represented as an intersection of a safety property and a liveness property. Uh, roughly speaking, a safety property states uh, that bad events never happen. In case of distributed al algorithms, these events are responses, also known as outputs. For example, consider a consensus problem, where a set of processes propose values and they have to decide on the same value, which will be the value proposed. So a consensus safety property states that first, the decided value is the same for all processes. And second, it states that the decided value should be the value proposed by the same process. So a consensus safety property states that the responses to the processes, that is the, the responses that return the decided value, will be in accordance with these two properties. Consider another example of a shared object, namely shared registers. A safety property of shared registers is linearizability. Roughly speaking, it states that it is possible for every operation on shared register to find a linearization point such that uh, if you replace this linearization point with a corresponding operation, then the resulting execution is correct. Consider an execution where we have two write operations and one read operation. This execution satisfies uh, the safety property of linearizability because it is possible to insert the serialization, linearization points in the following order, such that uh, the first write comes first, then comes the read operation, and then comes the write operation. So if you replace these three linearization points with corresponding operations, then we get the correct execution. More formally, a safety property S is a set of finite executions such that uh, if an execution belongs to the set, then any prefix of this execution also belongs to the set. A liveness property, on the other hand, states that some good events should eventually happen. So, for example, if we consider a shared consensus object, then its liveness property states that any process should eventually decide a value. In the case of shared registers, an example of liveness property is weight freedom, which states that every operation should eventually return a response. Or, in the case of our shared transactional memory systems, a liveness property might state that every transaction should eventually commit. So, formally, a liveness property L is a set of executions such that every finite execution is allowed by L. Since safety property states uh, that some bad events should never happen, and the liveness property states that some good events should eventually happen, it might occur that uh, when some bad events coincide with some good events, it is impossible to guarantee both of the properties. For example, in the case of consensus, the famous FLP result states that in an asynchronous system which uses registers to implement consensus, it is impossible to guarantee both consensus safety and consensus liveness. So, in some cases, if uh, a safety guarantee is too strong or a liveness guarantee is too strong, it is impossible to implement them. And therefore, it is necessary to consider weaker safety or weaker liveness properties. So it is possible to design a distributed algorithm that satisfies correctness property, which is the intersection of uh, safety and liveness.